Hello everyone, what's up? I haven't really done much today. I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but it feels kind of like I do the same thing all day every day because um, there's not a lot of places open and you gotta have money to get there and I don't seem to ever have any money, so um, yeah. I can't believe that they're reopening schools. I wasn't going to talk about that, but I have been, okay, for those of you who don't know, I've been going through the process to become a substitute teacher in Missouri. I was originally going to college to be a teacher, and then I had to quit because I lost both of my parents. And I decided that I, after like a couple of years, I decided that I wanted to become a t substitute in, um, while I finished my degree. So I started that process and now I'm not sure if I should finish that process because I have real concerns about schools opening. And it's not necessarily the kids, although the kids are a huge issue, it's also what's going to happen if all the teachers get it, because there's not enough subs. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's like a substitute teaching shortage in this country. <laughs> and so no matter where you live, there's probably a shortage of subs. And I don't normally talk about stuff like this, but I have been going back and forth all day with myself trying to decide whether or not I should get a job working in a call center, which I did at Alpha Point. Um, for those of you who don't know that, I, that, that's, that was my job at Alpha Point. Or if I should continue with the substitute teaching thing. And that way I'll, I'll be certified when I'm needed. But I'm also putting myself at a huge risk. And being a substitute teacher, at least in the school district where I want to be, is, as far as I know, a part-time job that might have changed because of the pandemic. Which means that you have a certain amount of hours that you can teach. And then after that, if you go over that, you can't teach the like the time that you go over those hours you can't teach that t like the amount of time that you go over the hours <laughs> that you're allowed to teach in a year they take off your next year yeah that's what I was trying to say so I don't know if that's still the case I'm assuming that's still the case because why would that change but I'm just worried that they're opening schools too early. And I swore that I wasn't going to really mention this pandemic. Um, because I, I feel like it gets mentioned enough in the news. But as someone who was training to be a teacher. As someone who is in the process or was in the process. Or I don't know. Still is. Isn't. I don't know. Of becoming a substitute teacher I feel like I have to say something because while everybody's concerned about the kids which is fine which is great you're supposed to be concerned about the kids there's also the teachers to consider because they can also get COVID and if they get COVID who's gonna teach your kids Um, and that's just basically what I have been thinking about pretty much all day because I genuinely don't know what to do. I'm happy. So here's a daily dose of dog while well, Lolo isn't in here. I promise I will get Lolo. I just like it, getting them separate because if I pet her, then Lolo gets jealous and they end up getting into fight sometimes because Lolo wants to be the only dog I pet. And she needs to go outside, actually. But, that's okay. She's 
she's laying um, facing towards my bed. I almost said facing towards the window, but that's actually the opposite way. Um, that uh, she's laying, so um, that would have been wrong. My cousin went to Sonic and got everybody a soda. And guys, it finally happened to me. After years of saying, oh, that's not going to happen to me, it finally happened to me. They gave me, I ordered a cherry Coke. And they gave me a vanilla Coke. And it was kind of nasty. <laughs> I don't like their vanilla Coke. They put too much vanilla. Um, but I ordered a cherry Coke because last time I ordered an orange Fanta, the soda was flat. I don't know what that was about, but I decided that I'm not ordering, ordering orange soda right now. <laughs> so I'm sticking to like Trey Coke and stuff like that when we go there. But, um, yeah, they gave me a vanilla Coke. So it finally happened to me. I, it happened to Larry. I don't know how long ago, and he was telling me how gross it was, and I was, like, making fun of him, like, oh, it couldn't be that gross. It really is that gross. It really, really is. Like, it's... Ugh. Do you guys like Sonic's Vanilla Coke? Let me know. Hello. Hello. Hello, cutie. Pretty girl is a pretty girl. Is it you? Has been hanging out with me today, except for when I threw her outside. Well, I didn't really throw her, but you know, when I put her outside. Oh, she's gonna hide her head. Oh, she thinks I'm gonna put her outside again. Oh, she's gonna lay on me. She's like, if I lay on you, you can't put me outside. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. So now I can't pet you because you're too far down. No, 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 no. Doing? Huh? What you doing, girl? Ah, ah. Well, I can't pet you if. You're... Okay, there you go. Stand up so I can pet your head. There you are. Look at all that hair of yours on my floor. Look at it. You shed so bad. Yes, you do. It's bedtime. Is it bedtime? She's like, no, it's pet me time. What are you talking about? Oh, I gotta lay down on your feet now. You're silly. You know that? You're a silly girl. Alright, I am going to go ahead and end today's video. I hope you like this video enough to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring that notification bell. Hey, I just posted a video yesterday. It's very long. It's a Friday video. So, well, technically this is going up on Sunday. But, um, if you haven't seen Friday's video, go watch that. It's really good. It's really long, but I really hope that you like it. I almost put it in three parts and then I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. So, I left it as one. But, with that being said, I hope that you like this video enough to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new. Please ring that notification bell. Make sure it's set to all notifications. Leave a comment if you have something to say. Like my Facebook page and definitely follow me on Twitter. Both of these things are Steffi2010. They can be found on my YouTube page below the About section. They can also be found down in the description below. And if you're interested in adding closed captions, 
or transcribing my videos in a language other than English, you can find that link down in the description below as well. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, guys.